Frisco continuing as the Jackrabbits are settling in before the big game comes up on Sunday. That's where we find sports director Mark Ovedon and Parker Brown, who have been keeping busy with all things SDSU on this Friday. Hi, guys. Hey, guys. Yeah, we have been pretty busy. In fact, it was a really early morning this morning as we got out to the field and did all kinds of interviews with the players and coaches, and we'll have a lot more of that uh, in sports tonight at 9 and 10. But this guy has been busy tracking that crew that pulled in last night when we did our live shot. They had that beautiful blue truck from Lance Trucking up in Volga. And uh, Lance and Pam's company have done a wonderful job of hauling the gear down here. And they've become a pretty big story. They weren't expecting this kind of uh, attention from all of us. No, I don't really think they did expect this kind of attention, but even while we were at Toyota Stadium earlier today, there was a couple fans that came by and they wanted to take pictures in front of this beautiful new rig. And it, Lance, you mentioned him there, his trucking company, they kind of came up with this idea last year when they were in Frisco. And this kind of just all came to fruition, uh, mostly because they are huge Jackrabbit fans and they're natives of Volga, South Dakota. And really, they just partnered with Outlaw Graphics and after their long drive, they arrived in style, like you mentioned last night. And this unique opportunity, Lance, he's absolutely loved supporting his hometown team and seeing this truck on the big stage. Oh, it's been great, you know, and when Terry and I were working on this, Terry from Outlaw Graphics, he kept saying that, you know, you're not going to believe the impact this is going to have. And, and uh, it really was surprising. It's still unreal. It's kind of like a dream. To be honest, my favorite part of the trip was watching the excitement in my wife's eyes when people would pass us and wave and hog. That, that was the best part for me. A lot of the work for them is kind of done right now because they just got to wait for the game to get over so they can just settle in, be fans, and then they're going to be taking all the gear back again. So really just a cool story. I'll have more of that later tonight at 9 and 10 on Dakota News Now. And it sounds like, I mean, you've got a lot cooking with the media day over at Toyota Stadium and Sports. Yeah, in fact, the, uh, the truck I'm guessing is going to bring all the pads and helmets and all that stuff back. Players brought those by themselves when they flew down just in case the truck broke down and didn't make it. They had to have their stuff. So it'll be a lot fuller on the way back to Brookings. We will talk at 6.30, as a matter of fact. We'll be back at 6.30. We'll talk with Justin Sell. Also talk about uh, whether or not this team is having fun this year because there's been a lot of pressure on them, obviously, as the number one seed, undefeated. And I'll have more on that at 9 and 10 as well. Zach will also have more on Montana. They are trying to be the next team that kind of gets to the top again because they've been there before. So all for now, all from now, from Frisco, we'll send it back to you guys, and we'll be back in a little bit. It's almost like weather every five minutes. It's us every five minutes. And yeah, that's a good thing, too. That's a good thing, too. We can never have too much Marco in our lives. Mark and Parker, thank you.